Hey guys, how's it going? Chez back again and welcome to episode number 6 of the Atletico Madrid career mode series here on FIFA 15. We've got a couple of absolutely cracking games for you today, as well as the squad report at the end of the episode as well. We start with Sevilla, so first versus fourth as you can see, and we'll have some team news before we get started. The Atletico Madrid lineup: Jose Maria Jimenez plays with Diego Godin as the centre-backs. Arda Turan plays with Antoine Griezmann in the wide positions. In attack, Mario Mandzukic starts. He's been in tremendous form recently. This is the Sevilla lineup for this game. Beto starts in goal. Koke starts with Benoit Tremoulinas as the wide defenders. Vitolo starts looking to continue his great form in midfield. In attack, Carlos Baca starts. He's been in tremendous form in his recent games. Giving Arda Turan a start then after he did very well for us in the previous episode. If you missed that video, there was a link down to it in the bottom left hand side of your screen. But we almost gave away a penalty there and in fact should have done because that was quite clearly uh, a last man standing by the goalkeeper just wiped out their attacker and I'm very very fortunate to have come away with uh, no harm done and they're actually going to whip the ball in here again coming from that right hand side standing up and Carlos Baca with a wonderful header so much power behind that and a glorious leap I didn't expect that from Carlos Baca He's a player that I don't really know what to make of. I don't know, I can't make up my mind when playing with him or against him whether he's a, a fantastic player or just, you know, a poaching goal scorer that actually doesn't have too much to his game. But clearly, he is a poaching goal scorer, at least in one sense, because he was able to get them in front here. And Mandzukic almost gets us back on level terms, drawing a good save out of Beto, still only in the 10th minute. So, uh, plenty of chances already in this game. And in fact, we're going to get another one here as it drops to Jimenez on the edge of the box, eventually brings it down before striking it with his left foot. Unfortunately, the Centre back has his shot well blocked, and we can't quite work a final shot and chance. But we're going to catch them on the counter attack again here as they were pushing forward, trying to uh, improve their lead. Of course, Sevilla aren't the sort of side that are going to sit back on you like Celta and Almeria did yesterday. They're uh, definitely a team that are uh, particularly good going forward, and they were going to do that, but they were a little bit lax defensively there as uh, initially a good save by Beto but Koke reacted first to the loose ball and uh, tidily slotted it into a, a now empty net to uh, to bring us back on level terms just before we got to the half hour mark but Aliek lips whip lips whips the ball in eventually gets knocked down to Carlos Baca who unfortunately for him fires the shot high and wide rather extravagant effort on the uh, on the turn and falling backwards trying to uh, to get Sevilla back in front but as you can see they're pushing a lot down this left hand side standing the ball up again looking for Backer in the middle and uh, somehow I've no idea how but it just pops out to Denis Suarez on the penalty spot and he's got an easy finish from there I was really disappointed though you couldn't really see where the ball was and uh, it was just a mismatch between uh, the attacker and the defender it just squirmed out and unfortunately the goalkeeper wasn't able to uh, to see the ball until late and Denis Suarez put them in front and in fact they came very close to getting a third here Moya doing very well to get down this time to uh, to stop Ava Benega from putting Sevilla 3-1 in front and really putting the game beyond our grasp but we're pushing into the last 10 minutes now really needed to start throwing bodies forward to try and get ourselves back in the game Koke receives the ball into feet here finds Gabby on uh, the inside of him he finds Raul Garcia on the outside of him great feet to get around the goalkeeper will be particularly disappointed with that Raul Garcia shows great feet to get past the two defenders it's not the uh, the most powerful of shots but it's quite accurate goalkeeper's gone down to it he's done well actually to get down there but he's kind of caught the top of the ball with his arm which has pushed it down into the ground and made it bounce up into the top corner rather than getting a full palm behind it to push it around the post. So we're back at 2-2 with just five minutes to go now and Kevin Gamero breaks past the defensive line here and we have to uh, be very thankful very thankful of the fact that he is the best of finishers, Kevin Camero, and they fires that one into only the side netting. But they were pushing for uh, for a winner, and similarly, so were we. So, uh, as you can see, we're building up now, coming in towards stoppage time. Arda Turan on the ball finds Gabby. Great turn to uh, to set up Thiago on the edge of the box on his weaker left foot, and the goalkeeper had absolutely no chance with that one. The precision with the shot from Thiago was absolutely exquisite. I was so pleased with that shot. He doesn't get much football. 
here at Atleti Thiago for me. I much prefer playing Mario Suarez and uh, and Gabby in those holding roles, but he really popped up with a crucial goal there. And uh, actually, we're still pushing forward, as you can see, in stoppage time. And uh, we're going to have another chance before the half was out. Sevilla clearly trying to throw as many bodies forward as possible to get themselves back in it, which left the space in behind for Griezmann to be able to pop up and score us a fourth. So from being 2-1 down with 10 minutes to go, we end up winning the game 4-2. An absolute peach of a game between Atleti and Sevilla. And uh, fortunately for us, it's the losing last season's Champions League finalists that beat last season's successful Europa League finalists in the Spanish Cup and actually not the Spanish Cup the Spanish League and uh, going into the Champions Cup or the Champions League our second game in this competition away against Roma now after uh, picking up three points against Sporting yesterday but here to start off with is your team news Roma's line up for you Morgan De Sancti starts in goal Leandro Castan plays with David Astoria as the centre-backs Jovino plays with Alessandro Florenzi on the flanks Francesco Totti is the main striker today Atletico Madrid lineup. Wasn't that amazing? They lost two players on that last day when they had to avoid defeat in Barcelona. Two key players, Diego Costa and Turan, in the first 20 minutes of the match. Then they're a goal down and they still do enough to win the league. Now, this was going to be an even harder game than the Sevilla one and uh, equally a lot harder than uh, the one we had earlier on in the Champions League yesterday against Sporting Lisbon. So uh, I definitely knew of the challenge that faced us here away in Rome, but we almost got off to a great start there. Raul Garcia with a rather adventurous effort that unfortunately went straight over the top of the bar, but we were still on top in these opening stages and actually Roma were very, very solid defensively uh, to start off with and Morgan de Sanctis uh, pulled up a couple of very, very good saves when he was called upon. You see the flat back five there from Roma at times and uh, Roma actually have had a resurgence of late in the past couple of years in real life obviously really trying to uh, to step up their their form in uh, in Serie A and actually cause some sort of threat to Juve at the top of the table last year they started the season with 10 straight wins I think and they're actually playing very very well this year as well and of course got a couple of uh, nice additions to the side as well but Francesco Totti is definitely not an addition to the side and he drew a good save out of the goalkeeper there clearly still their main man up front through the middle Francesco and he was going to cause me a few problems throughout the match to be completely honest but Mike on here down the right hand side finds Pjanic in the box who stands it up beautifully and it's the forehead of Jovino that puts Roma 1-0 in front in the 37th minute a really good move from Roma completely picked me apart and uh, they deserved that goal and that uh, that lead because uh, after I had the uh, the better of the opening chances they definitely stepped their game up and had me really very much so on the back foot but we were able to get ourselves back in the game with a nice link-up move between Christian Rodriguez and Raul Garcia, as you can see there, to give us uh, a goal just before half-time. So we went in at the break on level terms, but Roma still weren't done for the game. As you can see, five minutes into the second half now at the very start of the second 45, and Jovino again is the man with the goal this time with a fantastic technique on his right foot to, uh, to put the ball into that near post. And that, by no means, is an easy finish. There are plenty of times we've seen players try a finish like that and either smash it high and wide or just skewer it at, uh, well wide from the near post as they aim down low. But there really wasn't much to aim at there, and that is an ex a very, just a very, very good finish from Jovino, who is having a couple of very, very good seasons at Roma, it has to be said. But Thiago's in the starting lineup after, uh, you know doing very well in the uh, in the game earlier on against Sevilla. I felt that he deserved to have a, a start alongside Mario Suarez and unfortunately Suarez wasn't quite able to put us in front now. Brought on Raul Jimenez later on in the second half as you can see linking up well with Alessio Cerci here whips the ball in and Raul Garcia is so unfortunate there. Bounces back off the bar. Hits to Sanctis and goes wide. So we're coming closer to an equaliser but we'll have to keep pushing and as you can see we are putting a lot of pressure on Christian Rodriguez eventually nicking the ball off the defender. Trying to find a little bit space here because Roma have got a lot of men back as you can tell so Raul Garcia decides to just run around the outside of them and gets in a good shot that is unfortunately for them deflected off the heel of the defender which takes it away from Morgan de Sanctis the goalkeeper and gives us our equaliser but both teams were still pushing for a winner much like the end of the Sevilla game where both teams wanted a goal both teams want one here as well Strootman finds Florenzi who whips one not far away from that top left hand corner that was a very very good effort in fact Roma were having the better of the last few minutes here as you can see on the attack again Ashley Cole in behind but Churchy's back to hook it clear but only as far as Strootman the, uh, the 
the Dutchman. Savinho involved. Back to Ashley Cole. Obviously loves to get forward, Ashley. And it's Florenzi again with another effort this time. Going close to the far right-hand side, but missing the target again. And that meant that both sides had to share a point. So, uh, we have four points so far from our Champions League campaign. Uh, really pleased, actually, to uh, to have been able to come back and get a draw out of that game after twice being behind Roma. A very, very good side, which means we'll now have to play against Leverkusen. Try and get a win against them to really put us in the driving seat for the future in that Champions League group stage. Of course, as always, if you want to see the most in particular stats of any player in the squad report, feel free to pause the video at any particular point. But uh, as always, whilst uh, we go through the squad report, of course, feel free to check the channel page for anything you may have missed over the past few days, whether it be this series, the My Player series, or the Chelsea Career Mode series, which went up earlier on this afternoon. We're uh, closing in on 26,000 subscribers as I uh, record this. So if we've hit that already, thank you so much as you'll be seeing this on Monday night. If we haven't, then uh, subscribe and help us get us there so uh, we can push on towards 30k. The channel's been doing tremendously well at the start of FIFA 15. We've grown by almost 7,000 people already in the opening three weeks. Wonderful support from you guys. I cannot thank you enough. And if you did enjoy this video, then feel free to hit that like button as well and continue the support on this series, which has been very well supported indeed, as has all of the series on this channel, whether it's this one at the Chelsea Career Mode or the My Player as well. But uh, really, really pleased with the support you guys have been giving the uh, the series. And of course, if you don't know what and when I upload, because we do upload two videos every single day here on Chesnoy Gaming, 14 videos a week. So I really bust my guts to, uh, to make sure that I hit the schedule slot with every video as well and so far touch wood for the past 18 months or so i've been very very uh, consistent at keeping videos coming to you on a, a bi daily basis so we'll uh, hope to keep that out and if you don't know what and when i upload there is a link in a, not a link in the description there is a schedule in the description that uh, will let you know what and when i upload so you know what and when to expect uh, you know certain series and that schedule is on the about tab of the channel page as well but as you can see we've got quite a few players out on loan this season and a few of them are actually growing quite nicely uh, Emiliano Insua and Toby Alderweireld will actually be uh, you know coming back into the starting line maybe not even the st maybe not the starting lineup but will definitely be in the uh, the first team squad as a whole next season when they come back from their loan spells hopefully as improved players uh, also Joshua Gila Voga will probably uh, come in to uh, to the first team squad as well but of course we've got Saul the uh, the holding mid who actually is a very very good player for me as well so got a few decisions to make when we get to uh, the start of next season but we've started this season very very well indeed as you can see we are still top of the table with 16 points two clear of Valencia and Bilbao have now lost their opening game of this season so even if they win their game in hand they'll only be a point behind us Real Madrid still with a game in hand though can push further up the table. Barca still with two games in hand though. They haven't played so far this weekend so they're down in 13th but can go up to around about 3rd or 4th if they win both of those games. So it's still all to play for in the Champions League. It's still all to play for in La Liga and we'll hopefully have some Spanish Cup football in the not too distant future. But that's all for today guys. Thank you very much for watching. Feel free to leave the video a like if you enjoyed. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook. Links to all three of those will be in the description down below. Like we say, subscribe if you haven't already. Drop the video a like if you enjoyed and I I will see you next time.